All right, starting another restoration project. Got this one at an estate sale. It's actually really beautiful. I think it's 1920. Need some TLC. Real wobbly. Been reupholstered before. I'm taking that off right now. I actually just took this this off just now. Whoever reupholstered it before didn't do the greatest job. Keep filming as I go along. I think it had a back on it before because there's lots of little nail holes that I'm gonna have to patch all throughout this. I don't know if I'm gonna put a back on it. I decided yet. All right, I just took up all the nails and all these little things holding that piece of material down. All these guys. Anyway, so this is what's underneath. Another layer of upholstery. Probably the original. Possibly. I'm going to take it off too. Just wanted to show you what's inside of this. I'm so excited to see how they structured this. This will be really interesting. After removing the cushion and the grass, I took a vacuum cleaner to it and cleaned it up. And there's a spring system here. So I decided to investigate and I pulled back this back piece that holds all the coils down. And I'm just gonna show you what it looks like in there. It's so cool. It's got three brackets. I don't know if that's steel, but that the coils are mounted to. And then it's got a twine that's keeping them all in place. All right, discovery time. I decided to take it off. And this is the structure. And I'm probably going to replace this. It almost looks like corduroy or like some sort of a green denim I don't know. look at that that is beautiful isn't that amazing I feel like I'm gonna... well I cleaned it out and uh, took off all the burlap there's so many nails that I need to get out of there but I vacuumed up the whole inside and it looks beautiful and I think I'm actually gonna keep the material it's on the bottom I think everything else is gonna be made new but I filled all the holes there were so many and there were a lot of little broken pieces Lots on the back of the chair. And I sand it all down. I'm gonna get ready to paint it. All right, today's upholstery day. I've painted it all white. And um, have the cushion here. Replacing the old one. And I used that corduroy material before. I went ahead and put it back on to hold the springs down. And I'm doing a, quite a big cushion. All right, so this is the upholstery I've chosen. And I laid it down, and I'm, I've squared up the pattern the way I want it. I made a center mark, and I made a small center mark on the material. And I will show you what it looks like in just a bit. So I finished up the chair. Sorry, this isn't really a tutorial. It's kind of just a documenting of what I did. But um, I put the upholstery on and I tacked it down with my staple gun and then I came over it with this, with a glue gun, which is what everybody does. And I 
I doubled the material up and went all the way around it. And you just go a little bit at a time with your hot glue gun. And in the back, I just cut out a little piece and made it pretty, I guess. And then I put a coat of polyurethane over all of it because there's some crackle and I wanted to preserve the crackle. And then I made a few throw pillows for it. And that's it, it's done. So this is the final product. Kind of hard to get it all in there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.